Boston City Councilor Josh Zakem introduced the Sanctuary City Bill back in 2014, which had the support of all 13 other councilors as well as Boston Mayor Marty Walsh. With the success of the program in the city of Boston, Zakem would like to see his plan implemented in cities and towns across Massachusetts. The Plymouth Public Library recently hosted a forum where he spoke on the matter of sanctuary communities. It's important that Massachusetts does this. Uh, other states, California, New York, probably many others are considering similar legislation. Josh Sakem, uh, he's an attorney um, in Boston, a Boston City Councilor, and he introduced a bill uh, into the legislature in regard to sanctuary cities, and he's going to be speaking today and explaining to us how that worked in Boston. And it's really to educate us, including myself. I know very little about this issue, and it evidently is a hot topic. Well, I think obviously it's something that's been in the news a lot in the last few months. And Boston, I wrote our Boston Trust Act now almost three years ago uh, that we've had in place, which essentially says the Boston Police Department will not detain anyone based on their immigration status. And obviously since the elections in November, more and more cities and towns uh, have been proposing similar versions or at least exploring it. I think it's an important way to say we're going to use our public safety resources locally and we are not going to work to enforce a you know, failed federal immigration policy. That's Washington's problem. We have our own issues here, um, you know, obviously in my case in Boston and around Massachusetts. And that's what's I think most important. When folks who are victims or witnesses of crimes are able to come forward without fear that their immigration status um, will be an issue with local police, we're all safer. They can testify. Um, they can report crimes. Uh, often victims of domestic violence and sexual assault are especially afraid to come forward. And it's also saying that we have very limited public safety resources in our communities and those should be spent where they are most needed and that's about protecting us. That's not enfor about enforcing a failed federal immigration policy. And there's currently a bill up at the State House called the Safe Communities Act that would extend these protections that we've had in Boston and Cambridge and Somerville and other communities around Massachusetts statewide so that our state police and our state agencies and our sheriffs can focus on public safety as opposed to immigration policy. This is important to all Americans and should be important to all Americans and to educate and to find out and to understand what the issues exactly are. And I hope when we walk away from today, we have a little more idea of what Boston is doing. In the city of Boston, this has been a positive for our public safety. Um, we've been able to restore trust amongst our communities. We're able to shoot, put our resources where they need to be. And um, it's important that we're all speaking up with one voice. And I certainly hope that other cities and towns are going to join in this. Um, and I certainly hope to see the statewide bill passed.